Good morning, friends. Today we're going to read the story, Pete the Cat, the Great Leprechaun Chase. When we're reading this book, what's your job? My job is to listen to the story. My job is to look at the pictures, get the movie, get the cartoon in my head. My job is to think about what does it mean to be lucky? Are you ready? Okay, let's find out. Pete the Cat, the Great Leprechaun Chase. This book is written by James Dean. He's also the illustrator. The illustrator draws the pictures. The author writes the story. This is a super fun book. Pete the Cat, the Great Leprechaun Chase. See the leprechaun? Yeah, there he is. Leprechauns have their pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. If you find it, you get some luck. The Pete's at school with his teacher. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, and Pete's teacher, Mr. G, is teaching about leprechauns. The only time you can catch one is on St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow, the 17th of March. A leprechaun will bring you good luck, Mr. G says. Now everyone in class wants a leprechaun. Pete gets a great idea. He will open a leprechaun catching business. That sounds smart. Get that picture in the head. Get that cartoon in your head. St. Patrick's Day comes and Pete gathers some supplies. He gets some things he needs. He hangs a sign above his stand. This will be easy, Pete thinks. It says, Pete's lucky leprechaun catchers. Squirrel is Pete's first customer. I want a leprechaun. Squirrel says, I need good luck for my test. Cool, I'm on it, says Pete. Pete has a plan. He will follow a rainbow until he finds a leprechaun. Remember the leprechauns at the end of the rainbow with this pot of gold. Finally, Pete arrives at the end of the rainbow and finds Clover the leprechaun. Next to a pot of gold, Pete sneaks up behind Clover. Swoosh! You think he's going to catch him? What would you do if you had a pot of gold? But Clover is too fast. Did you think you can catch me so easily, he asked. Once there was a cat named Pete who thought nabbing some luck would be neat. Then he happened upon a smart leprechaun who he'll find quite tricky to beat. Clover disappeared in a puff of green smoke. Pete will need a new plan. That afternoon, Gus visits Pete's lucky leprechaun catchers. I want a leprechaun, Gus says. I need good luck for my band recital. They're gonna play some music together. Pete says, I'll see what I can do. Pete plans to lure Get Clover to come out with his music. He plays a jaunty, a happy song on his guitar. Before long, Clover dances over to Pete. Just a little closer, Pete thinks. Suddenly, Clover starts spinning around Pete. Round and round, Clover goes faster and faster. Oh, I wonder what's gonna happen to Pete. What do you think Clover is doing? You have that cartoon in your head? Oh no, look at Pete. Oh no, Clover wraps up Pete with the rope. Pete has finally met his match, a crafty leprechaun he just can't catch. He'll never win. He better give in or find something else to snatch. Ah, uh, he didn't kind of look what the Clover did to him, wrapped him up in a rope. Wow, poor Pete. That evening, Callie visits Pete's lucky leprechaun catchers. I want a leprechaun, Callie says. I need good luck for my tennis match, my tennis game. Hmm, says Pete. St. Patrick's Day is almost over. There isn't much time left to catch a leprechaun, but Pete won't give up yet. Are you wondering how he's gonna catch a leprechaun? Are you thinking about it? Pete sets a trap for Clover. Before long, Clover tiptoes up to the trap and sniffs the air. Mmm, I love candy, he whispers, peering under the box. Pete waits very quietly. 
Crash! Pete rushes over and checks underneath the trap, but it's empty. Clover skips away. Pete has tried many a plot, but still I haven't been caught. And isn't it dandy I even got candy? While Pete ends up with squat, nothing. Pete has an idea. He follows a trail of spilled candy to Clover's secret hideout. Pete sneaks up behind Clover. Whoosh! Pete finally catches Clover. Oh, how is Clover feeling? Look at his face. Does he like being caught? Why do you want me? Clover asks. I'm helping my friends who need some extra luck, Pete says. So kind he wants to help his friends who need luck. Luck doesn't come from having a leprechaun, says Clover. You and your friends have each other. That already makes you as lucky as can be. So having friends is what is lucky, right? Could Clover be right? Pete is one very lucky cat. A lucky cat doesn't need a lucky leprechaun. He lets Clover go. And how's Clover feeling now? How's he feeling? He's kind of happy that he's been let go, doesn't he? Peter decides he will be the good luck his friends need by helping them out himself. Pete helps Squirrel study, get ready for his test. He aces it. He does great on the test. Pete helps Gus rehearse, get ready for the recital. They practice their music. Gus rocks it. He does great. Pete helps Callie practice for her match for her tennis game. Callie wins it. She wins her tennis game. Clover magically appears. Good job, Pete, says Clover. I have one more poem for you. Um, do you hear the rhyming words in Clover's poem? It's kind of fun, huh? While Clover played hide and seek, Pete learned something unique, different. The luck that you make beats luck that you take. Any old day of the week. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And that's the book, Pete the Cat, The Great Leprechaun Chase by James Dean. James Dean is an author. He wrote the story and he's an illustrator. He drew all the pictures in the book. Okay, friends, get to work. <laughs>